afternoon. Happy lockdown bank holiday again. There seems to be a lot of bank holidays during lockdown. When they go, oh, lockdown's over, it's going to rain all summer because that's guaranteed because since we got locked down, it's been lovely weather. So in this video, first and foremost, I'm going to be candling these new eggs. So we've got the uh, Indian runner duck eggs and the Mandarin duck eggs in here. They've been sitting for about 10 days, 10 or 11 days. So I'm going to candle them later and fingers crossed we're actually forming embryos and ducks. That's the plan, which uh, I think maybe done the humidity a lot higher this time. Like I said in the last video, I went for about 35% humidity. This one's been 70, pretty much bang on, between 65 and 70. So I'm going to see what they're doing. The fan's on now, the fan cuts in now and again. But before I do this, I'm going to do this later on when it's dark, because it's not dark yet. What I'm going to do is go, I have to go in the aviary because I've got to move the quail again the white quail into the holding pen because I've got more baby finches hatching. I've got rid of a load of budgies, picked up a cocktail, got myself a nice violet budgie. Didn't mean to, just went down the pet shop to get some poop bags, but I just saw her, I was like, hmm, I'm gonna have her, <laughs> which I did, so I did. So what I'm gonna do is go in the aviary, sort them out, uh, get the eggs out, all the quails now laying more eggs. I think I boiled off 30 eggs yesterday and I've got 15 more eggs already <laughs> so I'm gonna do that first uh, and then later on we'll sort these out but I need to move the uh, white quail into the holding pen because the finches need to come out then I need to go back in the aviary because I've got finches that are laying eggs in the budgie boxes which they've never done before I don't know why they're doing it they just started doing it recently but they're laying them in the budgie boxes which is making it difficult for Mummy Budgie, who's quite acceptant of the whole situation, but at the same time is like, I don't know if they're gonna hatch or not, so I need to clean the boxes out anyway. I'm gonna separate the eggs and put the finch eggs into uh, the finch houses, and hopefully the parents follow. If they don't, then, you know, I've probably lost out on about 15 baby finches, but I've got 20 odd finches that I need to get rid of. Boris, our cockatiel, has been very quiet today. I don't know what's the matter with him. He's just, I was waiting for him this morning, like half four in the morning. Went, right, the quail started. Boris is going to start. Boris didn't. He's just laying there with his head in his wing. He do not seem unwell, but he's just very quiet. So we're going to get all this done, and later on we'll kennel the eggs. I need to go and cut the grass as well at the front. George is going to do some car cleaning to earn some money. She's going to wash Mavis's car next door and Emma's car, which she's just spent a fortune on fixing. But yeah, that's just, we'll just see what happens. See what happens. Bank holiday Monday. Let's go. Bye. Right, so one of the baby finches has fledged already. Down here, he's trying to... Come on. Come here. Luckily, none of the other eight quails have bothered with him, which I was... I know the white quail is naughty, but he's not been bothered by the other eight quails. Which proves that the white quail is just naughty. So I'm going to try and move him if he lets me. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. I don't think he's going to let me. He's quite mobile. Some finches when they're born are just not mobile enough and the quail is just... Well, I'm going to kill you. So I'm going to check in this box. I've told you about the boxes. So I'm going to check this box, which is the one that had the... Uh, at least seven budgie eggs and seven finch eggs and one baby. Still the same. So I'm going to separate them shortly and hopefully the parents of the finches will follow them. Mum in here has been pretty much constant, she's been on the whole time. So I'm pretty sure there's there might be a baby in here. If not, it's going to be very shortly, definitely. Hello Mum, sorry. Sorry Mum. I'll move back, let me look. You see again, all the finch eggs. So that's what I'm going to do, I have to like take the boxes down, clean them out 
get the finch eggs out, put them into like this double box here, and hopefully the parents follow. But if they don't, I'm not really that fussed because at the end of the day, like shh, the, the budgie mums are making the effort. The finch mums are kind of like cuckoos. They're like, well, oh, I'll just stick them in here and you just do it. I don't know why they've done it. They've never done it before. They just decided that I'm going to start nesting in the budgie boxes. They've got their own boxes, their own nests everywhere literally everywhere but all of a sudden I'm like well I'm just going to nest in with the budgies Boris is just still very quiet hello Boris 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 yeah, it's a very quiet day very quiet day so I'm going to get them clear now and then hopefully it should be dark probably in about an hour and a half and then we can go and have a look at the duck eggs Fingers crossed that went well. I don't know. We like the mums. Both mums are back in on their eggs, but the finches. Uh, one finch, mum finch, has taken on the eggs. Uh, the other one hasn't. There was a couple of casualties, which I feel bad about. But I had to split them. Really had to split them. Can't like they can't live in the same box. It doesn't work at all. Mum can't cover. 15 20 eggs even though she's trying to be a super mum it just doesn't work so they're now back in their boxes mum's back on her baby in this one and the other mum is back in that one on her babies yeah they're all set i just need to water them now and we're ready to go to candle the eggs in about probably an hour maybe an hour and a half Doing well, just keep an eye on them. I think it's about day 11, as I said. So we'll just keep going. Um, I cheated. I didn't. It's not dark. I got blackout blinds in the shed, so I stuck them down because I didn't have time to wait till later. Then cuddled them. Uh, we just had fun in the front garden with water and had a barbecue. But yeah, five mandarin duck eggs forming lovely. Four Indian runner duck eggs. So nine out of twelve eggs that I bought, pretty good. So I will leave feedback as they hatch maybe i don't know uh the finch is not great uh, they're not actually bothered that i've put them in the other box which i didn't think they would be but you know i can't i've got 21 21 22 finches so i'll take their eggs out and they'll all start again anyway they're already they build nests everywhere that's what they do so what i'll do is i'll update at the weekend uh so what are we on so this weekend 20 no, it's, like, oh, it's June, man. Seriously, June. I was supposed to be going to France to do a job, but I'm not going to do that now because of the quarantine issues. I think it's uh, five, five or six days in France, which would accumulate to 14 days in quarantine there. Six days work, 14 days quarantine back here. So over a month for six days work. So that's not happening, but I am really busy. It's gone. I actually thought I'd be quiet during lockdown, but not at all it's been so so busy tomorrow i'm going to go to a wedding venue and stream pull out cut down spray all the weeds over the whole complex which is going to take quite a while and 
a lot of weed killer. Remember the film I Am Legend? In the first scene where he's driving the streets in the Mustang thing and it's all like overgrown. Well, it's what this place looks like because no one's been there and they want to start viewings and they're desperate for me to come and get rid of all the weed. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow and then carry on uh, another tidy up, two tidy ups tomorrow and then go back to my friend's house and carry on sorting his garden, his house out because he's moving to a nice place in the village where I'd like to, but that's a different story. I'll move one day. So thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe, like the video, ring the notification bell thing as you do, ding, ding, whatever. Uh, that tells YouTube's algorithms that you like my video and therefore they'll just shove it in your face more. So thank you very much. I'll see you next one. Bye.